All right, in this story, we're just going to review a question on limits there. Yeah? So basically, we need to substitute, simplify the complex part. So cot basically is 1 over tan theta. Okay. So basically, what are we going to have? So we're going to have the limit as theta gets to approach 0. So for the first part, we have theta over what? Over sine squared theta. What else do we have? So now we have that being multiplied by the part where we have caught caught 4 feet. So this is the same as what? 1 over tan 4 feet. So I'm going to substitute that. So we have 1 over tan 4 what? 4 feet. Multiply by cot squared 2 feet, which is on the bottom there. Basically, so it's the same as we have. Th as it is on the bottom, it's the same as 1 over cot squared to fit. So we've said cot is the same as what? 1 over tan. So that turns out to be what? The reciprocal of that. So the reciprocal of 1 over tan squared to fit is going to be what? It's just going to be tan squared to fit. So we have tan squared to fit on the numerator part now. So we want to make sure that what we have is in line with what? in line with a special what? With a special trigonometric limit. So the special one limit trigonometric limits that I can give as an example are these. Sine x over x, this is equivalent to what? To 1. Even tan x of it over x is also equivalent to 1. So these are the, the common ones. So we can try to make sure that whatever we have in such is in such a case. Okay. So what have we observed or what have we noticed here? So at least we've noticed that if you look at sine, sine is what? Sine is basically what? Is basically squared. So we want to make sure that we arrange them in the correct order. So our move, we have the limit as theta gets to approach zero. Then this part, I can move this one to the left so that I can have theta over what? Over tan four theta. At least this one is not squared. So the theta that is on top here is is not scarce, is not squared, so I don't want to put it with the, the sign which is squared. So then we have tan squared to theta. So now, the basic thing or the basic idea that we have to understand is that for us to have something being simplified, if you look at the special trigonometric limits, for example this one, we've noticed that we have if you have sine x, then even on the bottom you should have x. So it's like that part should be the same with that part. So I'd want to make sure that we maintain the same with what we have. So what are we supposed to do? So for the part where we have 4 theta there, I would want to make sure that we have the same on the top part. So the only way we can do that is uh, multiplying by 4. And the moreover, whatever you multiply with the numerator should be multiplied by the denominator so that you have. So in this case, we're going to have 4 over 4. So 4 over 4. Then uh, the other part, we'd want to make sure that what we have is also the same. So basically when you say sine squared theta, it is the same as what? Sine theta in brackets, then squared. So we'd want to make sure that we get to simplify it to that form. So we're going to multiply by theta. So I'm going to multiply the entire thing by theta squared, theta squared. So it's like I put theta squared down and also on top there. Uh, so what basically what is this going to be? This is going to be the limit as theta gets to approach 0. Then the top part is going to be 4 theta over what? Over tan 4 theta. So I've ignored the other 4 there. I'll take it towards the end there. Then what do we have? So we now have for the middle part, since they are all squared, I can just plug it out. So I would say theta over sine theta. So since the square is common, I can just put everything in squ square outside. Then even the other part, I'll say tan to theta over what? Over theta. So now, remember before I get to do that, I need to make sure that whatever is on the bottom should match up with whatever is what is attached to the trigonometric function. So I'd want to make sure that I have mm, a two theta there. So this 4 that was there can be multiplied by that so that we have 4 theta at 4 theta squared. 
which is going to be what? Which is going to be 2 theta. So that if you square it, it's going to be 4 theta squared. So the 4 over 4 that we had introduced is now gone. The one 4 is attached to the theta, the other one has been attached to the other part where, where it is becoming the square as well. Then at that stage, it's like you have the special trigonometric limits now. It's just a matter of you distributing the limits. So the limits, as theta approaches 0, for the first part we have 4 feet over than 4 feet. Then the other part, the limit as x approaches 0, you have feet over sine feet, of course squared, multiplied by the limit as x approaches 0, then you have tan 2 feet over 2 feet, and this is also going to be what? This is also going to be squared. So what we are going to have is, this is equal to 1, that is equal to a 1, and that is equal to a 1. So basically your result is a 1, and that is how you get to simplify that limit. Thank you very much for watching.